Guys, welcome back to the channel, Lower Michigan Adventures. And today what we have for you is we have the beginning of our 2018 Chevy Equinox no build camper. And uh, this doesn't look like much starting, but you gotta start somewhere. And the nice thing that I learned about no builds is Literally, you can switch out things as you go, and that's the primary thing about no builds is nothing's fastened in place, so if you want to do upgrades, uh, you can upgrade, so it's pretty, pretty easy, and so I'm going to show you the start of our 2018 Chevy Equinox SUV no build camper. So first thing I did is we made these window covers and uh, this is just uh, basically some cloth with uh, so we got a little bit of this uh, Reflectix uh, insulation that we bought over at the Home Depot it was actually fairly cheap I think it was I'm guessing I think it was right around $20 for a whole entire big roll of like 25 foot by I think it was like 24 inches or something like that but anyways uh, so we cut this stuff down got the old glue gun out and got some uh, material from Walmart this black material and we uh, just uh, glued glued this uh, material right on this uh, Reflectix so I actually got enough material and Reflectix left over to do another whole vehicle. So if I do get a new vehicle in the near future, which hopefully I will, I don't know, but we'll be able to uh, make some more uh, window blinds. So I'm gonna take you inside the vehicle and show you kind of where we're starting at with this uh, 2018 Chevy Equinox uh, SUV no build. I actually labeled on this side a uh, passenger side door, so you probably can't read that, but I'm going to install this real quick, which should go in there fairly easy. One down. Driver side door. It's not perfect so this is for the back window and this uh, little lip right here is black tape this ain't the prettiest thing in the world but I'll tell you what it works and then I got a little pull tab right here to pull it out so that's what I think I need to do with that other window is just run a little bit of this black tape so it adheres with a little bit tighter fit This one actually fits really tight. So, what I'd like to do is just walk you around the outside of the vehicle to show you the windows and how they look. And I think they're pretty, pretty covered. And like on the in between the seats and everything, we got that little pull curtain, so that ought to work out pretty good. Bella's watching us closely. This window right here, like I said, I'm gonna have to run a little bit of tape down here along the edges so we get a better fit. And I'm gonna close this real quick, but I have to unplug my uh, solar panel that's sitting on top of the car. It's really early in the morning, so we're not really getting that much of a charge. We're only pulling in about nine watts on this Jackery uh, solar panel that's sitting on top of the car. 
trying to charge this up because I'm actually going to use the lighting for inside the uh, car camper. So I'm going to give you a quick overview of what actually I got in this car camper and what I brought along, including Bella. What we have here is a Coleman sleeping mat. I also have one of these cheap Amazon uh, air pads. I have my Marmot right here, 650 down filled sleeping bag. We also have another sleeping bag. Let me grab this up. I think this is a TRO. TRO by Mountaineer. TRO sleeping bag. Got me a little lantern right there. As you can see, I need to fix that. This looks nice and tight over here. We brought the Jackery. I got a little cook stove, which we're not going to cook inside the vehicle. I don't think that's too safe. Not with this setup. Not with this setup, that is. I also got this little temperature gauge hanging to see what temperature it is. And it's 80% humidity, 79%, 45 degrees. I actually took off my coat. We got our little camp chair, our backpack, and some odds and ends right here. I'm going to actually get inside the vehicle, close this up. I also brought this light because actually we shot a video last weekend and it turned out horrible for lighting purposes. Hopefully this turns out better, which I think it will because we've already done a couple tests. So lighting is very important. So I'm going to get in the vehicle. That one just scooted. I'm actually taking off my shoes because I don't want to track any dirt in here. This could be a little tricky. These little small SUV campers can be tricky. Scoot over, Luke. awful terrible in here. I can close this up just like this. Close this over. And that's giving me some privacy right there. It's actually blacked out pretty good in here. It's pretty dark. Uh, got the lighting in the background here. Only one blind that needs a little bit of work. The rest of them look amazing. Uh, I like it. So, anyways, what I was going to say is we also got this little lamp, lamp right here. And I've got a little lamp right here, too. Which I can turn on right here. There. Maybe it ain't going to stay up there. There we go. Perfect. So, we got the Jackery 240 running our lighting behind the camera. And I actually got room over here to put like something small, like a small little shelf or something. And what I'd like to do is eventually get a bigger Jackery unit that I could actually run one of those little water boilers uh, so that you can cook inside the vehicle, which would be kind of neat. So that's one of the things. We also have, for safety, we have, in case anybody comes knocking in the middle of the night, inside this no-build uh, SUV camper, we have mace and i also have the little alarm right here which bell ain't gonna like look she's she's nice and comfortable 
chick won't get mad and run it. Ooh, you just scare you. <laughs> I also brought along a little pocket knife, you know. Safety, safety, safety. You just never know. And we've got all the gear that we actually would need for a few days camping right here. Like I said, this no build is very basic. And uh, the nice thing about a no build is if I want to get a bigger power supply, solar generator to run different things, I can buy that at a later date. Uh, I need to get a little stand for in here to like keep my power bank on and maybe do a little cooking. So that's one thing I'd like to do. Something real small. I've got room right here. Those beds right here, but we can always move that down here. So we still have all this space up here and I can get in from this side. And I think this is a perfect little stealthy no build SUV camper. And I think what I'm thinking about doing right now is getting outside of the car and firing this here up. And we're thinking about making uh, one of these Mountain House Adventure Meals chicken fajita bowls. Now, if I had one of those electric cookers and a bigger power bank, we could actually cook inside the car. So that's what I meant about that earlier is I don't think that this is really safe to cook inside the car, so we're not gonna do that. But uh, hopefully someday shortly, we can get one of the bigger power supplies to run one of the little electric cookers to boil up our food inside the car. So let's get outside the car and let's cook a meal. What do you think, Lou? Are you coming? You want me to wake you up? Where's that alarm? I will wake you right up. It was just scare my baby. Woo! You scared. The trickiest thing about this no build SUV camper simply getting out of it and getting in it so I would say maybe a little bit bigger vehicle might come in handy someday but for now this I think will work so I'm gonna get everything out of here and we're gonna try to cook up a meal yeah well, I knew I forgot something We're doing it the old fashioned way. This is going to be my little pop holder. Tear it right there. That looks like it's going to be pretty good. That. Don't forget to take these little uh, packets out. Soft. Water's almost spoiled. You want to mix it up really good. Stir it up real good. Let's 
see how it's thickening up. Might have to put a little bit more water in it. Because this does have rice. Grab that. I don't want dry rice. Set up really good. That's what we got. Zip it up. Now we play the waiting game. Nice thing about these titanium pots, look at that. I mean, that's only 40 some degrees out, but they cool really quick. And this right here is my little BRS titanium backpack and stove, which this thing I've had forever. And I actually recently just bought another one just because I love them so much. And uh, this thing is like six or seven years old now. Still like brand new. And this is just my little case I use to keep it safe. It actually doesn't come with one of those. What are you doing? Are you coming out here? That was a little guard dog. She's watching over the car. Are you cold? Are you coming out? You just going to sit in here and wait? Dave's going to just make some food? I already got it made, Lou. You is cold. Bill, you better get back there and, and lay down. Relax. All right. Well, I guess she ain't getting out. Who is that dog in the window? Lou, what are you doing? It is starting to get a little bit warmer. It's like 51. As you can see, it's a little overcasted today. Got some, got some pretty good fall colors right here. Just walking around this little spot waiting for the food to soak up all the water. Our little mountain house. put my little hoodie on a little bit chilly it's 51 degrees overcasted I'm not really getting a whole lot of juice off the Sun right now for the Jackery we're trying to recharge it a little bit I think we're pulling only eight watts Well, we're pulling nine watts. It's really overcasted. Well, let's see if this, I haven't had this uh, chicken fajita bowl yet, so let's see how this actually tastes. Should have did another mountain house review. I love taste testing all these different ones I got. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty good. Seasoned, seasoned chicken, white meat with rice, black beans, corn, fire roasted pepper, onions, freeze dried meal. Mm. I haven't really had one of these I haven't liked yet. That, that looked good. Mm.
Guys, thanks for watching my little 2018 Chevy Equinox SUV no build. It's the beginning stage. The nice thing is, like I said, you can just switch out things and upgrade as you go. And um, one of the things I'm thinking that I really need to do different is my sleeping pad. I need some kind of a sleeping mat that's a little bit more comfortable. Uh, that one's not too comfortable. So they work okay on the ground, but not so good in the car. So I need something thicker. And like I said, some other things I'd like to do is maybe get a bigger solar generator to maybe cook inside there. And of course, the, something like this wouldn't be very safe. I probably should maybe get a fire extinguisher. And uh, if you guys have any other suggestions of different things that I should look into possibly doing, to make this no build a better no build drop in the comment section i'd love to hear from you um yeah we got to start somewhere so i think this is a good basic start uh budget friendly this is super budget friendly but uh i would like to upgrade over time guys thanks for watching until next time cut